In computing, a persistent data structure is a data structure that always preserves a previous version of itself when it is modified. Such data structures are effectively immutable, as their operations do not update the structure in place, but instead always yield a new updated structure. A data structure is partially persistent, if all versions can be accessed, but only the newest version can be modified. The data structure is fully persistent, if every version can be both accessed and modified. If there is also a meld, or merge operation, that can create a new version from two previous versions, the data structure is called confluently persistent. Structures that are not persistent are called ephemeral. These types of data structures are particularly common in logical and functional programming, and in a purely functional program all data is immutable, so all data structures are automatically fully persistent. Persistent data structures can also be created using in-place updating of data and these may, in general, use less time or storage space than their purely functional counterparts. While persistence can be achieved by simple copying, this is inefficient in CPU and RAM usage, because most operations make only small changes to a data structure. A better method is to exploit the similarity between the new and old versions, to share structure between them, such as using the same subtree in a number of tree structures. However, because it rapidly becomes infeasible to determine how many previous versions share which parts of the structure, and because it is often desirable to discard old versions, this necessitates an environment with garbage collection. In the partial persistence model, we make weary any previous version of the data structure, but we may only update the latest version. This implies a linear ordering among the versions. Fat node method is to record all changes made to node fields in the nodes themselves, without erasing old values of the fields. This requires that we allow nodes to become arbitrarily fat. In other words, each fat node contains the same information and pointer fields as an ephemeral node, along with space for an arbitrary number of extra field values. Each extra field value has an associated field name and a version stamp which indicates the version in which the named field was changed to have the specified value. Besides, each fat node has its own version stamp, indicating the version in which the node was created. The only purpose of nodes having version stamps is to make sure that each node only contains one value per field name per version. In order to navigate through the structure, each original field value in a node has a version stamp of zero. With using fat node method, it requires no space for every modification. Just store the new data. Each modification takes an additional time to store the modification at the end of the modification history. This is an amortized time bound, assuming we store the modification history in a growable array. For access time, we must find the right version at each node as we traverse the structure. If we made M modifications, then each access operation has O slowdown resulting from the cost of finding the nearest modification in the array. Path copy is to make a copy of all nodes on the path which contains a node we are about to insert or delete. Then we must cascade the change back through the data structure. All nodes that pointed to the old node must be modified to point to the new node instead. These modifications cause more cascading changes, and so on, until we reach to the root. We maintain an array of roots indexed by timestamp. The data structure pointer to by timed RS root is exactly timed RS date structure. With M modifications, this costs so additive lookup time. Modification time and space are bounded by the size of the structure since a single modification may cause the entire structure to be copied. That is O for one update, and the so pre-processing time.